Blessings, beautiful beings. I'm Shaman P, the Vibe Guy, and this is Daily Ritual. Today I'm gonna to share with you unique movement, a holistic healing practice that I've been developing for nine years. Started with me teaching vinyasa yoga in the park. Started integrating my degree of kinesiology and my studies of hatha and my certification in kundalini and Chinese medical school with qigong and teaching restorative and yin and apprenticing with shamans and all the things all mixing into this unique movement. And so today we're focusing on the sacral chakra, this sacred, sensual, sexual, spiritual of awareness where we can access deep states of enlightenment, nirvana, samadhi, bliss, Christ consciousness, from tuning in and tapping into this creative center. We can birth, we can create, we can imaginate. Shout out to Freedom Franklin for that one. <laughs> and today we're focusing on the water. Water, mini wichoni, water is life. Flow, harmonic grace, allowing us to move at a more smooth and steady pace. So without further ado, I bring to you unique movement to stimulate, activate, align, and awaken the sacral chakra. Inviting us to start off with three deep breaths. Inhale, filling the belly and the chest. Relaxing the jaw, wiggling and softening the shoulders. Perhaps close the eyes, two deep breaths. Relax the body. Once more, deepest breath and gently hold at the top. Pause, gently squeeze the anus, lift the pelvic floor, squeezing the sex organs, bringing the diaphragm in and up. Slowly exhale, relax the body, soften the body and embracing a moment of stillness as we count our blessings. with the gentle Buddha grin, smile in. Inviting us to raise our hands up in exaltation to give thanks and praise to your higher power, whatever you perceive or believe to be something bigger than you. And we thank you, Creator God, for all the blessings in our lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're open and ready for more. Calling upon self-worth, confidence, abundance, consciousness, prosperity that comes from giving our gifts and sharing our heart with the world, expressing ourselves and liberating ourselves. Remembering that only you can free yourself from mental slavery. Thanks, Bob. Inviting us to come onto all fours. The hands beneath the wrists, the knees beneath the hips coming into wiggling the spine. So there's no right or wrong way to do any of this. That's how unique movement works. It's unique to your body. I'm guided by source, God, consciousness to get out of my head and into my heart and to tune into channeling a unique practice for us in this moment. And so right now I'm feeling my body start to do this serpentine-like movement with my spine. And this aligns with the Ida and the Pingala, these channels that come along the spine and they intersect through all the chakras, all these energetic vortices, vertices, vortexes along the spine and inviting us to move our hips down and back and forward and wag the tail and just explore. Just allow your body to move how your body wants to move. Maybe dip your shoulders, move your hips and just see where are you carrying tension today? Where's your body feeling a little bit more tense? And like stirring a pot with your hips, with your pelvis. I invite you to close your eyes and take three deep breaths while you stir and just make a mmm sound. Deep breath. Mmm. <laughs> more time with a moan of ecstasy. Mm. 
<laughs> and pushing the hips down and back, knees nice and wide, reaching your arms far forward into a child's pose, allowing your head to come to the mat and pause for a moment, taking two deep breaths. coming up, back to the tabletop, joints stacked and coming into a cat-cow, inhaling the head and the hips up, exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tail, exhale all the way out, inhale deep, exhale all the way out, inhale lengthen, reaching in opposition. Exhale all the way out. Let's get a few more, move at your own pace. Focus on the spine, focus on the sacrum, tuck in the tail. One more cycle, full breath in. And hold gently at the top and at the bottom. Hold gently, squeeze the anus, the sex organs, lift the pelvic floor, reaching to the top of the head, visualizing light along the spine. Gently squeeze and tense the body. Slowly relax, exhale all the way out, round the spine, shoulder blades apart, tuck the tail, bring your exhale all the way to where the belly comes to the spine, hold the breath out and squeeze and tense from the base of the spine, diaphragm in and up, hold the breath out. Forehead on the mat. <clears throat> Take a deep breath and gently wiggling the tail. <clears throat> and slowly coming up. Wow, that one got me when I did the diaphragm in and up. It created this weird little tick in my throat. Interesting. Everything is connected. So, as we go ahead and come back to a seated posture, we're gonna do a move that's called Supi Grind. And so the uh, ancient Supi mystics, there's a, <clears throat> in Islam, the Sufis are the ones that are focused on enlightenment and having an experiential connection with the higher power, love, God, Allah, Jah, Yahweh, the great spirit goes by a thousand names in a thousand places and the Sufi grind is a movement that helps to stir this energy of the Kundalini and so inviting you to inhale forward exhale back inhaling forward exhaling back ready to close your eyes and focus on the, the sacrum like you're stirring a pot Exhaling back, inhaling forward. Gently gazing at the brow and pause. Tall spine, lift the pelvic floor. Exhale, going in the opposite direction. See if you can sink up, inhale forward, exhale back. And a few more, relax the jaw 
around the shoulders, get a big circle. spine, lift the chest, gently squeeze and lift the pelvic floor, bring the abdominal muscles in and up, gently bring the shoulder blades together, reach to the top of the head, gazing at the brow, slightly tuck the chin, focus on the spine, visualizing light coming from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Exhaling all the way out, relax the jaw, and rolling the shoulders. And there's a powerful connection between the sacrum and the throat, the sabistana sacral chakra and the vishuddha the throat chakra are both centers of expression. And so right now, inviting us to just take a moment to move our shoulders to help to loosen up this connection because as we are creative, it's bringing the thought to word and being able to express our ideas and feel safe to take the next for step forward in creating bringing it from a dream to reality. So doing some circles, inhaling up, exhale back, inhale up, and back, make big circles. Eyes closed, gazing at the brow. Deep inhale, shoulders up, squeeze intense. Exhale, relax the body, palms facing up, gazing at the brow, jaw relaxed, shoulders relaxed, tall spine, focus on relaxing the body, muscles draping over the bones. You might feel a slight buzz or a tingle from the breath, from the movement. Focusing on the sensation of appreciation as you smile once more. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. If you need to shake your feet out for a moment, if you were sometimes I I forget to remind people to do that and people's feet can fall asleep and through uh, this one time I went to Vipassana, which is the technique that Siddhartha Gautama was practicing then became Buddha and it's uh, go ahead and do some circles with the ankles it's a uh, it's ten days of silence it's technically 9.5 days of noble silence no talking no reading no writing no eye contact no communication you're you're learning the technique and you're meditating all day um, you get a uh, breakfast and lunch and tea time in the evening and uh, yeah from sitting for mostly 10 days uh, I uh, yeah I, I can sit for a long time now <laughs> and so reset once again uh, everything's an invitation if you need to recalibrate your body do so and so next we're gonna do something called a spinal flex and so I'm gonna turn to the side for a second we're inhaling forward exhaling back and so we're focusing down here and so see how the pelvis is going forward and back forward and back but also bring it up to the chest so inhale exhale and so 
in yoga, they believe that we are, our age is dependent upon the flexibility of our spine. And so this is a really powerful exercise for the spine and activating the lower triangle. So the primal aspects of ourself. Inhale, let's invite you to gently close the eyes, gazing at the brow point. Inhale, big chest. Exhale, roll back. In and out through the nose, powerful breaths. Inviting you to visualize like there's a waterfall that's perhaps all around you and just protecting you with this beautiful purifying water. Powerful breaths. A little bit longer, halfway there. Inhale, big chest. Lift the pelvic floor, diaphragm in and up. Muscles the back together, tall spine, gently tuck the chin, gazing at the brow. Hold the breath, squeeze intense along the spine, visualizing light along the spine.